Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NFL action for week two, but before we do, I want to invite you to join. And again, you see you have all these tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the full slate of games for NFL week two, I'm going to get into five of those matchups. And first one we want to take a look at is see there's a couple of games there are a lot of information on all these games so uh you have plenty of tools here okay new orleans saints and the dallas cowboys both teams are coming off of a win you see that uh, the saints defeated uh, the carolina panthers by 37 points and dallas took care of cleveland uh, right now the cowboys enter as a favor of six and a half points odds of minus 267 to plus 224 and the over-under is set at 46.5. And speaking of the over-under, both teams were in games over the line in the opener. The score prediction is for Dallas 39, New Orleans 10. Confidence in the prediction is not very high, though, at only uh, 57%. You look at a couple of things here. There's a low confidence underdog, underdog value pick on the Saints. A very high chance, 81% of a game that is decided by one score. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Dallas is at plus 26, and New Orleans is currently at plus 13 after the first week of the season. The volatility oscillator shows how stable the teams have been. That's not really going to come into play this early in the season since there's only been uh, one game, so we're not really going to take a look at that this time. One thing we are going to look at, though, is the uh, movement in the money line. Right now, you can see this with the Dallas Cowboys money line opened at uh, minus 1.391 and there was some movement here right here you can see that there is a sharp line move detected against dallas at this moment here but currently now it is at uh minus 1.375 so it's actually a little bit more of a dallas cowboy favorite in this one than it was uh previously so in the end i think this is going to be a dallas win i think it's not going to be a blowout fashion but i think they will cover i think it could be by exactly a touchdown so they're going to barely cover and it's going to be in the game over the line. The next game we want to look at is Las Vegas and Baltimore. Baltimore is coming in after losing to the Chiefs, and the Raiders are coming in after losing to um, the Chargers. Baltimore is a home favorite, a big home favorite of 8.5 points. Uh, the over-under is at 41.5. You see the odds here at minus 408 to positive 319. Um, the teams are involved in games on opposite sides of the line in week one. Baltimore over in their game and the Raiders under in their game. Um, Baltimore is 80% uh, victorious as a favorite in their last five games. So basically winning four out of five. The score prediction is for all Baltimore 36-15. Confidence in the prediction is very low, though, at this point, at just 43%. Note here, it says there's 75% chance that it's going to be a tight game decided by one score. On the power ranks indicator, Baltimore is at plus 28 after their big, uh, after a big climb here. And you can see that the Raiders are at plus 2, so a decided advantage for Baltimore in that category. If we look at the movement and the money line, it opened at minus 1.28. Baltimore, you can see it moved quite a bit here. There's movement here detected in favor of Baltimore. And it got to minus 1.21, and now it's sitting at minus 1.245. So it's still heavy favor for Baltimore. And that's the way I'm leaning on this one. I think uh, I like Baltimore to win and to cover, actually, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Next game I want to take a look at is San Francisco and Minnesota. Minnesota is coming off of a win as is San Francisco, so both teams want to know. San Francisco is a road favorite of by five and a half points with odds of minus 234 to plus 192, and the over-under is sitting at 46.5. The score prediction is for San Francisco 32 and Minnesota 16. Conference in the prediction, though, is very low at only 39% at the moment. Uh, but Five-star home dogs in burning hot stash are 1-0 in the last 30 days, and that was Minnesota as a five-star uh, burning hot status. But I'm not going to go that way on this one. If we take a look as we continue on with the pick, 
Um, good value underdog pick on the Minnesota Vikings. Again, a good value for the Vikings. Um, if you take a look at the money line, you can see that the 49ers opened at one, minus 1 1.36, and there was a sharp line move detected in favor of San Francisco after initial sharp line move detected against San Francisco. So it was up and down, and currently the line is at uh, 1.42. So in the end, I like the 49ers to win, but I do like the Vikers, Vikings to cover this one in a game over the line. Okay, now we're going to look at... Okay, there's a lot of games here to cover, but we're going to look at... Uh, we'll get there. There we go. Cincinnati at Kansas City. Cincinnati is coming off of a loss, and not a very good loss indeed. Uh, losing at home to New England. While Kansas City took care of Baltimore at home. Kansas City is a five and a half point favorite with odds of minus 244 to plus 203. The over under is sitting at 48.5. As far as the over under goes, the teams are on opposite sides of the over under line in week one, and the score prediction is for a 24 point blowout win by Kansas City 38 to 14. The confidence in the prediction, again, is rather low at this point. One thing to note is that Cincinnati has lost its last four games. And they always struggle in September, at least in the Joe Burrow era. Uh, the power ranks indicator don't mean a whole lot this early on. Like right now, it's having Cincinnati at plus 15 compared to Kansas City at plus 19. Uh, right now, Cincinnati is, is not the better team, despite of what that uh, power ranks indicator is showing at the moment. Um, the movement in the money line, you can see here, this is the Chiefs money line opened at minus 1.549. And as we get go along here, we can see that there, there's a movement detected against Kansas City right here at this point, and it's currently at 1.41. So I like the Chiefs to win by at least a touchdown in a game over the line. The last game I want to look at is the Atlanta Falcons at the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles took care of business in Brazil, beating the, the Packers, while the Falcons came up lame in a Home lost by eight points to the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Philadelphia is a 6.5 point favorite. Odds of minus 292 to plus 237. And the over under is sitting at 47.5. You can see Philadelphia has a 68% chance of winning this one. Uh, the score prediction is for an Eagle blowout by 24 points. And the confidence in the prediction is at 65%. One thing to note is that the teams were on opposite sides of the over under line in week one. And let's take a look at the money line here. Any changes and movements in the money line? You can see it opened at minus 1.592 for Philadelphia. And you can see that their odds have just increased as the week has gone on. And is now at minus 1.342. And I like this to be the Eagles. I don't see much of a chance for Atlanta in this one unless the Eagles give the game away with you know turnovers and a lot of uh, untimely penalties. But yeah, I like the Eagles minus the points in this game. Uh, in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the picks for the NFL for week two. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.